वेलकम टू प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर्स टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू मॉड्यूल नंबर टू विच इज प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन दिस बिहेवियर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल कॉम्पोनेंट्स विल बी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर द प्री फेब्रिकेटेड कॉम्पोनेंट्स स्ट्रक्चरल बिहेवियर ऑफ प्रीकास्ट स्ट्रक्चर्स वी विल बी जस्ट गोइंग थ्रू द points and how this weaving of the structural behavior will be explained for your knowledge the design load carrying structures advantages from the view point of fabrication means when we are constructing any or any fabrication we have to prepare such that we have seen a small fabrications are prepared such as a car parking shed or a uh, outlet shed or something we can say this as the veranda shed also sometimes with a precasted or a particular prefabrication we used to do the steel prefabrication such that the steel fabrications two pillars are the rear end and two pillars at the front end we are going to use in this way so this pattern of prefabrications when we are going to prepare we also need to do some type of load calculations what amount of load is going to come so loads will be such as the dead load will be there and some live load will be there and other load will also be acting which can affect or not we don't know but as per the considerations they usually consider and some fixtures will be provided for the particular design load carrying structures and with the view point of prefabrication then principle of structural analysis we have to prepare every analysis of a structure such that it is a most important part in the behavior to understand of the structural components either it may be rcc either it may be steel or it may be a composite or it may be a pre stressed concrete structure or it may be a prefabricated structure so every kind of structure is having its own type of structural analysis the structural analysis base remains same but only some properties are going to change so this principle we have to understand various specifications various specifications means we are going for the dimensions such as some are materialistic some are non materialistic and the dimensions may vary with material to material also such as rcc we take a rectangular section rectangular concrete rcc section is able to be prepared but whereas we see that in the part of steel sections we go for angle sections we go for l section or we go for somewhat called as i section in this section parts we go for i section like this so these or both are in the part of steel itself only so we need to understand what is steel structure and what is the part of things so here specifications varies whereas this dimension remains same so dimension remains same this is also depth here when we consider this part it is also known as the depth itself only so this kind of dimensions remain same but the material variations changes so that comes for material specification and if the materials are same and the uh, particular principle uh, object uh, the principle uh, particular dimensions changes or we the can say that the shape changes then we can say the various specifications in the uh, particular shapes or same material is there but shape changes are then dimensioning of joints dimensioning of joints is the most important in prefabricated structures because these joints will act as the load transferring points from one particular member to the other member example when a beam is supported on the columns beam is supported as a simply supported earlier without any fixtures when the beam is made fixed to the column that time we can say it is somewhat called as semi rigid joint why we call it as a semi rigid joint it is neither the 
fixed type or neither the pinned type in this format for that reason we call it as a semi rigid joint so the dimensions of joints are more important we should not have a tolerance of more than 10 mm because 10 mm of the joint grout is allowed in that more than 10 mm of tolerances are not allowed in the dimension jointing elimination of handling stresses what are these handling stresses handling stresses means when we are taking the elements uh lifting from the vehicles to fixing it that time what kind of loads are acting what kind of loads will be acting if we are able to imagine the two hooks are provided if we have seen uh, there is a wall panel in this wall panel one single hook is provided here one single hook is provided here so this particular hook just a moment i'll just erase some part so in this particular thing these hooks are allowed to join with the cranes so here the crane hook is coming and particular the crane is taken and it is crane machine which will be acting somewhere from this point so at this time this plank what stresses are going to act in this particular panel or we can say what structural or elemental uh, elimination of handling stresses so when we are pulling there is a tension in upward direction the similar part of tension is in the downward direction tension in the upward direction the similar part of tension in the downward direction so these tensions are to be easily eliminated are to be easily eliminated when we are able to lift it should not allow the stresses to get into the particular concrete or prefabricated panels if it gets into the prefabricated panels we may see some part of cracks going to occur in the elements so these cracks we are not able to again uh, take or repair them so for this reason we have to eliminate this particular part of handling stresses which are coming from the lifting of the element then comes redistribution of stresses in joint structures so how the redistribution of structures the stresses will be going for the jointed structure due to creep and shrinkage creep and shrinkage is long time variation long time variation means after one year not less than a year after a year or more than a year what kind of stresses will be occurring depending upon the stresses we can say this as a creep or this as a shrinkage so whatever the due to superimposed load when the small deflection or cracks are going to happen that time we can say the creep and any dimensional changes we can say this as the shrinkage of the dimensions calculation of reinforced concrete structures cooperating with strengthening concrete layer in cast c2 so same as the rcc design we are going to perform some designs in the prefabricated structure also influence of sequence and of the method placing of stress state the structure so when we can say these type of influences or sequence of stresses are acting will say us that which kind of structure is this which kind of structure is this means we can easily identify the part of structure how this is going to be used or utilized in the particular site uh, place stability of precast structural members after having this all kind of structures what is the stability how much year it can be used whether it can be used for uh, 10 years it can be used for 20 years this comes for the stability quantity of materials used for precast reinforced concrete structures what kind of concrete materials we have used to prepare the precast concrete structures whether they are very useful or they are not so useful in the particular sections structural components 
so these are some structural components we can say so this structural components the following are the main components which are frequently used in preparing any building slab is there joist is there beams are there main and secondary wall panels columns roofing or flooring system consist of rc planks reinforced concrete planks and joints the planks are casted to a standard size and they are connected with rcc joints which are provided at a regular interval what are rcc joists these are some kind of beams only these are nothing other than the beam type sections only but not as the regular beams these are having a different kind of particular shapes and sizes so the loads from the planks are transmitted to rc joints then to the main beam so here this comes as some what called we as the secondary beam the main beam are provided with the channel sections 10 cm projections on a necessary sides with a spread spacing of joists the joists are seated in channels and bolted together so how the joists are fixed they are not only simply supported they are made simply supported in a channels and bolted together also the loads from the slabs to main beams will loading are analyzed so all the sections will be analyzed the foundation unit is only unit which is going to cast in site so we have to understand that the foundation part is only casted at the particular site none other than so prefabricated foundation cannot be available if we are going for also the strength may not take by the foundation footing so let us see the different components so this is the prefabricated slab a roofing slab or a flooring slab system consists of planks which is supported over rc joist the planks can be made in any one of the following form with or without precessing so these are the forms hollow core sections so this say as a hollow core sections also we can see here the hollow core sections the hollow sections are provided this is throughout hollow double t sections or we can say channel sections so this is the double t section or channel section uh, pre stressing will be provided here these are the pre stressing tendons lightweight concrete roofing slabs so in which the dimensions are less we can say the lightweight roofing solid rectangular planks these are also available solid rectangular planks sometimes we go for a single t section type of slabs so usual width of these types of slabs are of 0.5 meter and spanning to requirement up to the maximum limit of 5 meters so minimum breadth is we can say 0.5 meters and maximum length we can cast up to 5 meters this point is most important without pre stressing the thickness of a planks with pre stressing it may again increase it may go up to 8 meters for with pre stressing the thickness of a planks are casted in two steps with different module in axis invisible action with adjacent slab by putting necessary reinforcement and concreting site so we are going to provide some invisible part of actions such as the tendons will be provided they are pre stressed these pre stressing will provide them as a pre stressed concrete structure which is nothing but one of the prefabricated type only so these are the dimensions we have to remember 0.5 meter by width and 5 meter length if pre cast is provided pre stressing is provided 8 meter length will be there so this is single type double type hollow section and slab as it is regular pre fabricated joist so in this figure if we are able to see where is the joist joist are designed as a small beam located from planks these joists transmit the loads 
to the main beams through the channels provided in the main beam in the joist rectangular triangular shaped stirrups are provided to get the proper bonding or connection with planks the joists are casted partially in the factory the apex or portion of rectangular triangular stirrup will be projecting from the casted top surface in this projecting a connecting rod will be inserted and additional base from planks also inserted this will give monolithic action as well as plank will act as a continuous slab over joist so now in this part of section we can see this is the one of the main beam so this is the main beam we can see and when we come to plank so this is the plank where the section is provided this is the particular joist which we are going to use as the prefabricated joist which will take a load here we can see still the gaps are provided this gap is filled with the slab part in the particular beams or the uh, supporting sections so this will take the slab in the section so these are the joist which we can see here is one more place part this is first one this is the second one joist so usually the rectangular triangular stirrups are provided inside this and also some joint connections are provided at this end these joint connections will be providing with the continuity of the slab as well as for the particular section so slab will also have a connection in this and then it will get casted prefabricated beams main beam and secondary beams so in the background figures we are able to see the four sections of the beam such as rectangular beam l shaped beam inverted t and asto beam the asto beam is used usually in the american port so all main and secondary beam are of a same size 300 by 300 mm various reinforcements are provided at various conditions according to the moments the beams are casted for a clear distance between the columns clear distance not center to center distance to the clear distance a square of 10 cm by 10 cm hole or a depth of 10 cm are provided on either side to achieve the connection with the other beam reinforcement or column reinforcement by proper welding after welding the concrete has to be done at the junction with proper care at the junction of a columns and beams it is necessary or a part site according for this purpose the top ends of the beams are trap poled properly so that it will give access to side concrete and for needle vibrators to get proper compaction so these are some of the beams which will be utilized or used as the prefabricated beams such as main and secondary beams prefabricated wall panels so these are the wall panels which we are able to see this is one particular wall panel second particular wall panel third and fourth we can also see how the stacking is done because they should not be lying on the ground which will be lengthier <coughs> so how much is the minimum thickness if we see this particular thickness is of 150 mm and sometimes we can say this as a sandwich type sandwich type is how means we will be providing a two layer of concrete and inside that one of the particular cores will be provided this will be becoming as the sandwich type so which is of only 75 mm thick and some concrete of thickness either on the 35.7 mm so this is of 35 37.5 and this is of 37.5 inside there is a small allowment which is provided so these walls are of non load bearing walls the wall panels casted with all the 
fixtures such as doors ventilators window frames everything has to be fixed and then casted till that we are not able to cast them so this is one of the advantage of precast wall panels the main design is the more main thing is we have to eliminate the handling stresses in the wall panel because we are allowing the openings in the walls of the door window and ventilation where the stresses may not be occurring or due to the stresses the frames may come out from the wall panels or there may be a cracks at the joints of the window connections such as window bot horizontal level and vertical level in this part we need to understand the wall panels more carefully so this is the wall panel of a length provided up to as mentioned 5 meter or 8 meter so this section is total of uh, in this way we can say 5 meter to 8 meter we will be taking and this meter if we say this as 3 meter or 4 meter maximum we can go for the height of prefabricated structures these are again prefabricated wall panels with the openings which are provided we can see a small amount of opening is provided this small amount of opening and we can say here the lifting sections are doing on so these the are the will provide the elimination of the handling stresses this will give some of the stresses acting if the amount of stresses will be in this particular part only the lower part of the panel will not get disturbed so this is the most important thing prefabricated columns these are the columns of the prefabricated sections so here we can see for up to approximately 3 to 4 floor of column can stand vertically with some provisions of wall panels we can say these are the wall panels provided inside this is the wall panel which is provided and these are the columns so columns will be having the part of supporting of the beams this is the support which will be used as the beam supports beam supports on both the directions it may be in the longitudinal section or it may be in the horizontal section so here we can see this is one more joint and this is another joint so two joints are able to make this connections grooves are provided on a required basis to keep the wall position so grooves are provided such that the walls will be provided grooves in the sense if we see from the top this is the column and some part of section will be grooved in this direction for external columns so this will having the wall panel inside this fixed again this part of the column will be coming and if the support of beam has to be provided here a small point kind of the supporter is provided this is the particular this particular support and this column is the column and the wall panel is we can say this particular wall panel how we are going to provide inside the things thank you for the patience see you in the next video